Good morning, boys and girls and parents. Brie and I are here, and I am going to walk Brie through making Play-Doh. Yay! <laughs> now, we're going to have a big batch made up, but Brie is going to do a one batch um, so that we can just show you how you can make a small batch at home. And then later on today, we're going to make a big batch, and then we're going to have some bags outside, and Miss Erin's going to put some stuff together for you guys to play and stick into the Play-Doh. Um, and so we're going to start it right now with the one batch. So Miss Bree right. is going to start. All right. So Miss Jessica told me that I need, I'm going to start with one cup of water. So I'm going to put one cup of water inside of a little pot. We need vegetable oil. <laughs> one tablespoon and you want to mix it in with the water okay. and then we put in our food coloring in the water also so I chose blue and yellow we'll do a little color mixing also so if we mix blue and yellow what color do you think you'll make Green. Let's hope so. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. I am not the master at making play though, Miss Jessica is. So I'm learning from the master today. <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. It'll be great. All right, so my blue's in and a little bit of yellow. All right. So now what do we do? Let's Stir it up. You can just use your measuring spoon really quick. Okay. Like that. I will get you a paper towel because you're going to want to wipe off your measuring spoon. So that you can do the drying. Mm -hmm. I can see already in the pot it's changing colors. <laughs> it looks pretty. Oh, it does. All right. All right. So Miss Jessica's going to take that. And I am going to go put it on the stove. And it, only, it doesn't have to boil. You can just get it warm enough to so that the you activate the tartar, which Miss Bree is going to work on now. So I'm going to leave you and go put this on the stove. I'll be back. <laughs> Alrighty, my friend. So while she's heating that up, I am going to work on the dry ingredients. So I have all-purpose flour, um, cream of tartar. And a big container of salt. Don't worry, you won't need that much salt. Okay, so then for the flour, we will need um, one cup. One cup of flour. We have cream of tartar, so I need a tablespoon of that. Okay. And then also, we need a half a cup of salt. So, half a cup. All the ingredients are mixed together. All right. So that is all mixed up. Make sure everything's all closed so nothing leaks. Let's see. 
here just like you're gonna need bread oh it went together goodness Brie look at that success yeah that's exciting my other one didn't turn out so well <laughs> all right so knead it like so just smoosh it in between your hands make sure you get all the flour incorporated in how does it feel miss Brie it feels so good actually and nice and warm too Warm, warm Play-Doh is the best. It really is, especially on chilly mornings. <laughs> Yay, it's successful. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not so hard. That wasn't so bad. Yeah. All right. Wow. Look at that, guys. That's pretty. Yay, Miss Bree. See, success. Now we know Miss Bree can make Play-Doh. Yay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now I can help make Play-Doh with Miss Jessica. Yeah, that'll be She doesn't great. have to be the only one to make it. Nope, no more. All right, friends, so there you have it. All right. Play-Doh at home. All right, so we're gonna have big batches of Play-Doh in baggies on the, probably not until tonight, but tonight we'll have big bags, or bags of Play-Doh if you wanna drive by and pick up some Play-Doh today. It is gonna be out front this evening, this evening. All right. All right, so we're missing you. Missing you guys too. Yeah. Thanks for hanging with us. Bye.